Welcome back to Toe Talks. Today we have a pretty cool episode talking about tools we use. Being in a world which is so reliant on hands and basically using our upper body it is a challenge to be someone without arms and hands. And so for those things that we cannot do with our feet, we have tools to figure out a way to do them. Okay, in the morning when I wake up, First of all, I get ready, right? Mm -hmm. So I know this coffee cup just looks like an ordinary coffee cup, but this in fact is also a tool in the way that I'm able to splash water on my face. If I have this beside the uh, sink in the bathroom, I will actually use this under the faucet with water inside it. I can splash my face for a nice wake up, especially if it's cold water. And also if I need to rinse my mouth, of course, like anyone else, just put water in there and rinse my mouth out. And one of the biggest questions that people always ask me when I'm speaking is, how do you tie your hair in a ponytail? And it's essentially a one-handed ponytail maker. But for me, I use my feet. And the way it works is I have it loosened all the way out like this, put it around my head, and once it's on my head like a headband, then I use both feet to squeeze, one foot to squeeze down on the little button here and the other foot to pull the slack and bring it all the way up and it puts my hair in a nice ponytail. It puts my hair up and it's wonderful. If I needed to have my hair up, say it's too hot or I wanna get my hair out of my face. And right here, speaking of shoes, I have some Vibrams. Vibrams are amazing in the sense that they have individual spots for your toes. So I feel like I'm somewhat barefoot. Mm -hmm. If I wanna be in a place where I have access to my toes, now you can't move your toes as easily as if you were barefoot, but it's the closest thing to being barefoot and protecting your feet at the same time. It is somewhat more challenging to have a purse always on my shoulder. So if I want to free up my shoulders, this is actually just a little pouch. And it was intended to be a belt pouch because you can see these little loops right here. But I have figured out how to get this little knee strap, weave it through this belt pouch, and that way I have right here on my knee, when it's all Velcroed, a nice little pouch. Easy access to credit card, keys, things like that. So basically you're making your own cargo pants. I guess that's a good way to put it. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I found on Groupon. This actually holds your phone and you wear it around your neck. It's like a lanyard. So now I have no excuses for not taking your calls. Exactly. <laughs> Want me to show you how it looks on your arm? Yes, I need to know how this works. There you go. A dangling phone. This is a pair of scissors specially designed for me when I was in preschool and kindergarten. Because, watch, you pull this top off, it has a spring in it, which allows you to cut without having to reopen it because the spring bounces it back up. So that's about everything that I have to show you. Are, do you have some tools to show me? I do have a couple of tools and some of them we've probably seen um, before. Um, for getting dressed in the morning, we I have my dressing stick. It's a long metal, pe long piece of metal with a hook at the end and that's what I use for get, getting dressed when I'm at home. But when I'm traveling around or if I need something in my purse, I've got this one. And this is a telescoping stick and essentially it goes to like the full length of my, the metal one. And then I can put this in my purse and when I need to go to the bathroom at a public restaurant, I can pull this out and, and use it to go to the bathroom. So this has been handy for when I'm traveling around. And this device I got at uh, one of the art conventions I think the ACA convention had a couple of these and they were interesting because it has a sticky side to it and the strength of the stickiness will hold a full can of vegetables. So if I'm going to the grocery store and it extends, it's also telescoping. So if I'm at the grocery store and I need to pick up a can of beans or green beans, I can hold it with my chin or my foot and then suction up with the sticky stuff and it'll hold a whole can of beans and then I can put it in my wow. put it in my cart. And this has been 
really useful for like grocery shopping or if something's stuck underneath the couch or if I want the remote that's across the room, I'll just extend it and like grab the remote. And so it's, it's been pretty useful. This is probably one of my most used and helpful items in the kitchen is my step stool. It folds up, it's portable, it's small, so it doesn't get in the way. And when I wanna get up onto the kitchen counter or if I need to get something off of the, um, the shelves in the pantry, then I can just grab this guy and um, step up and get whatever I need and then fold it back down and hide it into the corner. So I use this like every day. And this has been a fun item. I was looking for one of these everywhere. I think I got it off of Amazon, but it's basically just a piece of plastic and it's got a slit down the middle and I use it for opening soda cans. So I can slip it through the tab and then pop it up and I got an open soda can without having to use my teeth, which I was using before. I was using my teeth to open up my soda cans and it was kind of hard on my mouth. It's got a hole on the, on the end and I use this on, on my keychain and I carry it around with me. And so whenever I have a soda and I need to just pop a top, I, I've got this with me. This is a replica of my current prosthetic leg that I have. It's basically, it's my shower leg. So when I wanna get in and out of the shower, I was having a little bit of trouble balancing getting in and getting out. And once I'm in the shower, I'm okay, but it's the part where I'm getting in and getting out that I'm afraid like I'm gonna slip or fall. I put it at the edge of the tub and when I need to, I can slip into it and step out of the tub and you know walk away. So we've got a lot of tools here. I think we've covered a lot of ground on our daily lives and how we do things. Um, if you would like to see links to some of these items or a description, go to the description bar and we'll have a list of all of these items if we can find them. And if you have suggestions for us or ideas of new tools that we could use and, and incorporate those in our life, let us know. So if you're interested in supporting more of these videos, go to patreon.com slash toe talks and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.